Ouch. Well, we saw him working on the car there before, uh, just before this happened. Uh, whatever they did to it, he really didn't like very much. Look how high he's coming in around the edge of that rubber that we talked about, that black Woo! line. Jumped the cushions, what I call that. Yeah, he came in a little hot. He smacked it hard. Yeah, that thing is hurt. Oh, that oh, is yeah, he, hit that, yeah, he hit that thing hard. Yeah, there's no yep. fixing that. Not here at the track anyway. And now, for the most famous words in motorsports, please welcome your Grand Marshal, a client of Opportunity Village, David Nilsson. Drivers, start your engines! You can feel the energy now. The engines have fired. It is race day in Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's put the green flag in the air and go racing on a gorgeous Saturday afternoon in Las Vegas. It looks like uh, the outside lane wasn't uh, as big of a deficit as it was last week at Atlanta. The uh, the 22 is hanging on to his quarter. And man, if you can if you could stay in that position he's in two turn three, I, I think you you'd be at the corner. But obviously Kyle's cleared him there, and and uh, I mean you, when you're the leader, you can feel the the air kind of break away, and it's uh, yeah a lot of grip right now. I got a good push from Daniel Suarez too. Did Bush allowed him to get ahead of Keselowski? Suarez is hung down there now. Though. Again, the veteran, the rookie. That's a good way to learn if you're the rookie. You got a caution. Yellow's out. Yellow's out. Early caution. See it a lot here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Slow car down the back straightaway. Going to be the 97. Stephen Light off the pace. Now, obviously, the 18 thinks he's too loose. If you're close right now, I think you have to see what it does on sticker tires. Oh, there he goes to the bottom trying to make it work. This might be a real fun finish here. Stage oh, one. Yeah. Final it's lap, be close. final corner. Here's Kyle Larson to the inside. Can he make it stick? The answer is at the start finish line. I think it was a photo finish. That I'm going to give it to the 18. Yeah, that yeah. was close. My six 100ths of a second, Kyle Busch able to win. Oh, the 18 is so glad the caution's come out right now. The best car. I, I've been watching the time zone. and oh, we got trouble. That's Matt Tift. That's it, guys. We're coming at you. Oh, that lane. Third caution of the day. I think that's going to be fixable. Yeah, I, I think uh, he, he got really lucky right there to, to spin out and, and not have any more damage oh than what God. he has. Here. Oh, oh man. That guy loose pretty early on him. Really lucky not to hit the wall any harder, James. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's you, really lucky. When you think about that right rear quarter panel, Adam, your your goal would be for it to be pushed out. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna tell you, in the car, he's like, I don't even think I hit. And he's in his mind, he's thinking, I think it's gonna be okay. And he's gonna get on pit road, and they're gonna be like, they want to see him inside. Caution out for the fourth time today. This time, it's the guy from Las Vegas, Brendan Gone, who got it sideways off a of turn two. Brendan wants to go home. <laughs> she's not having a good day. He is home. <laughs> <laughs> she got a car to right, Now she needs a set of tires. She got him from 17th on the restart. You can see Brendan Gone up in the high marbles. Little contact there on the right rear. But Dylan's charged up to 11th, so the tires are worth a lot. Hey. His teammate, Daniel Hemrick, the rookie, also pitted at lap 72, and he's 10th. So while one RCR driver in Brendan gone, you see here, who brought out the fourth caution, not feeling good. There are a couple of drivers out of the RCR camp that are. And now, Larry, 10 laps to go in the stage. Caution is out. What well, do you do here? Yeah. Monitoring Brad Keselowski's progress. Uh, oh. 12. Hold your own here. Yeah. Ray Black Jr. sliding, seventh caution of the day. Dakota Armstrong around hey, as well. Outside last time it got put in the middle because the guy behind went to the outside, so it might be easier to defend the bottom. Whoa. They didn't give Roy Black Jr. any room. Yeah. Ray Black Jr. I called him Roy last time too. Yeah, Ray Black Jr. Didn't give him any room. Just off by one vowel, that's all. Oh, blew those tires out too. That's if he's not getting good. in the pits. Got some used ones for sure. He's not going to like the ones in the pits, I don't think. And look at that smoke. I mean, these guys cannot see what they're driving into. And you can see Dakota Armstrong late in the going. Must got hit in the back, and around he went. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, Martin Waugh. Shoot right up the middle. Who was that? Martin Waugh. His, yeah. his spotter needs to be a, a little more aggressive. Or maybe he needs to listen closer. Or, or just let <laughs> off, yeah. <laughs> JJ J. Yaley. JJ Yaley. I watched him get loose and couldn't keep. Oh, here comes the whole pack. That was, yeah. Eighth caution of the day out here at Las Vegas. Less than 20 laps to go, and Logano going to have to make that decision again inside or outside. Check out Yaley. Just gets down to the corner. We talked about loose in traffic. The thing just started oh, yeah. bobbling when he entered. and. J.J. Chaster, he was on the lead lap in 23rd. We talked about the let a lap earlier, talked about the solid run J.J. was having, and you can see he's in a pack of really good cars right behind Ryan Sieg and inside of Ross Chastain and lost the back end. You know, they used to always say when we got sideways like that that you're supposed to just lock it down. And then 10 years ago, someone figured out that you could just floor it <laughs> and that you could actually drive away from the wall. And when you see a guy get loose like that, you see him they'll just they'll literally just map the gas and try to drive away from the wall. At the bottom of both ends, it seems like his car is, is obviously really working well right now. The 42's trying to work a little bit. Ooh, oh, got a spinner. Yeah, contact for a couple of rookies. Spencer Gallagher, Matt Tift, he's trying to save it. No caution yet, there it is. Ninth yellow all flag right. of the afternoon. Here we go. We get to do it all over again. They're all good. They're all over there. You know, Jamie, I, I love poor I love Joey being right? up here. I love being up here with you because I know you're thinking if you're the driver, nobody crash. Please, right. let's just Absolutely. run the thing out. And as a broadcaster and as a fan, I'm like, let's mix it up a little bit. Let's see a caution. Let, let, let these guys try to have another perfect restart. At this point, Joey Logano, they've told him that the 19 car spun. And he's mad now. He doesn't even know how he spun or what happened, but he's he's mad at, at, uh, at Tift right now, even though it wasn't his fault. 23 slid up into the wall, and, and Tift was coming aggressive yeah. inside, just ran out of room, it looked like. Gallagher's been running that extreme high lane he all has. day long, and it looks like maybe he just slipped up a little bit on exit. You can see. This is one of those tracks when you get too high, the track's actually dirty. Um, there's a, at, a, at a place like Atlanta, the higher you get, it just it just has grip. Like you just, it's even though it's dirty, it's got a lot of grip. Here, when you get high, it actually gets a little bit slick. So you have to kind of slowly work your way up. And I think you can see the little bit of dust coming off the back of Spencer's car. And yeah, it just ran out of room. Look at the job that Cole Custer does there, right in the middle of that mess, and he was able to sneak through. Sneaky Cole. That's right. Yes. He's quick to. By Credit One Bank, here's Joey Logano into Turn One for the final time. I'm pretty sure that Credit One Bank at this point would like to see a big finish at the end. I think they would. That would oh, be a good oh, thing for their driver. Oh. No caution, despite the issue down in turns one and two. Larson closing in, but he's not going to get there. Logano 2-0 in the 12 car last year. He's going to start 2017 1-0. First start at Las Vegas, Joey Logano, a winner. Well, Joey earned that. Yeah, he does a lot of, of tough restarts at the end. That was a great job he did today. Good job. Here's what we were talking about down in turns one and two. Ooh, final lap. Well, there just wasn't enough room for no, all that. I don't. I won't really blame that on anyone. Ryan Reed had a big run, and, and he's he's trying to get all the positions he can. It was just they were four wide, and and Ty came out on the on the bad end of that. Yeah, Ty sprung down to the inside. William Byron also. Got a piece of it, went from inside the top 10 back to 14th. They were racing for 10th when they made contact. I'll tell you what, that's a long burnout. That's a nice one there. He's doing a great job. Logano delivered the victory. Now the celebration is on in Sin City. Joey Logano getting two wins in 2016. Gets the first win for Team Penske in 2017 in his first Xfinity race here at Las Vegas. Joey, just a dominant day for you. You led 106 laps out there, but you had five restarts in that final stage. How intense was that? Yeah, it was hard to uh, figure out what what to do and what lane to pick, but uh, the one thing we did know is he had a very fast red Ford Mustang. Uh, Brian Wilson, all the guys that uh, you know, bring this 12 car out. That's three wins in a row for this 12 car. So that's something uh, I'm proud to be a, a part of and, and, and work with these guys. And um, man, it's a, it's a lot of fun to, to have these Team Penske cars fast again. 
um, in its Xfinity series. So, um, man, it's just, it feels good. Those restarts were crazy, though. It's just, uh, you don't know what lane to pick. It depends on who's a good pusher, and you're trying to remember what was going on in the last one. But, um, you know, overall, I just got to thank, uh, you know, obviously Discount Tire, Snap-on, PPG, Shell Pens Oil, Coke, Wheels Up, uh, everyone that helps us out with uh, this, or this whole Team Penske organization. So, um, proud of it. Great way to start the West Coast run. Jamie? Well, Kyle Larson, what a what a day he had finished his second. You led 33 laps today. Seems like your car was pretty good, better than most all day long. But where was Joey just a little better at the end? Um, yeah, I thought Joey and I uh, were pretty equal. Um, you know, I think just clean air was big. You know, when I was out, out front, I could pull away similar to how he was. Um, so, you know, I needed probably some longer runs there. Uh, we just kept getting cautions at the end. Maybe needed some lap traffic for sure. But uh, all in all, good day. Uh, the Credit One Bank Chevy was, was way better than I thought it would be uh, going into the day. Uh, we were really good through the bumps where yesterday we struggled. So uh, that, was, that made it a lot of fun. Uh, we were able to run the bottom. Uh, and then there, towards the end of the race, I could move up and run the top in one and two. So um, happy about that. Uh, had some good restarts there late. Almost cleared him a couple times, but uh, he had the momentum. Great day for Kyle Larson. He'll start fifth tomorrow in the well, Cup guys race. Just racing for the victory, just the W. But how about these guys? They're racing for a win, but they're also racing for points. You know, we didn't say Elliot Sadler's name a lot today, but you see he's still on top of those standings. Ryan Reed, who won at Daytona, is second. You gotta give a lot of credit to William Byron, who's who's hanging in third, and and. Daryl Wallace Jr., you know, you talked about him, Larry, in the pre-race show today, but for him to battle through that illness and be able to do that as top 10 finish for Wallace today, what a, what a great job. Yeah. And now, for the most famous words in motorsports, please welcome your Grand Marshal. He's in the Songwriters and Rock and Roll Halls of Fame, an American legend, John Fogarty. Rock and roll, drivers. Start your engine! Cities like this. I want everybody to get up on their feet. Let's send these guys and gals off on the starter. Boogity, boogity, boogity! Feet by Las Vegas! Let's go racing, boys! Martin Truex, big wind up off turn number two, edges ahead of Keslowski. Midpoint of the backstretch, Keslowski stuffs it into turn three, forges Whoa. ahead. And slid up right in front of Martin Truex Jr. I don't know if he meant to do that, uh, but I think that they're, right now they're feeling the grip level, and I guarantee you this track is really slick right now. Yeah, it's been laying there in the hot sun, no cars on it. It's going to take a little bit of time. These cars will cool it down a little, but not much. That's how close they come to that wall. Yeah, well, they make that safer barrier. Look at it, how it shakes that barrier as it comes off of there. Oh, caution. At lap, lap 18, somebody blow it up at turn two. Oh, that looks like uh, Corey LaJoy. It's a big hit. I know that. Get out of there. Look. Just hadn't been able to capitalize just yet. You can see there he's already made contact with the outside wall. The That's right hard front. lick. Woo. It's possible maybe some oil got underneath the, the right side of the car and caused him to, to lose control and get into the outside wall. You can see there lost uh, the steering and the brakes. As that thing rolls to a halt and he hops out. You know, that's the thing about having that smaller rear Oh, smaller turn seat. one hard in the wall. One car crashes and rides the rim. I believe a tire went down on Kevin Harvick's car wow. and it shot straight into the wall in the short shoot between the quad oval and turn one. Boy, he was running in six spot. Yeah, that happened early before he ever even got to turn one. Man, he hammered that thing good. I rattled his cage a little bit there, guys. He's slow. He's Darryl, that's one of the hardest hits I've seen here. I agree. Bam. You know, 
know, this front straightaway is just one big long curve. So that tire doesn't get much of a rest here, especially if depend on how much camber and air, the type of air pressure you have there. A lot of load on that right Went from 11th to second on the two tire change. He'll get some points, Whoa. but not as many as he'd like. Big wiggle underneath the 24 of Chase Elliott by Jamie McMurray, but he held on to it. Truex wins stage one from Kyle Larson, Ryan Blaney third, Toyota Chevy Ford in the first three spots. Kozlowski and Elliott, the top five, then McMurray, Johnson, Kyle Busch, Kenseth, and Earnhardt. Look at those youngins up there, 42-21, Larson, Blaney, Chase Elliott, kids playing rough Matt today. Kenseth turned 45, the oldest full-timer on the circuit. Uh, Derek Hope in this Trouble race. Trouble turn two, guys, turn two. And that is Derek Cope, the 1990 Daytona 500 winner, bringing out the caution here at lap 152. In progress. Maybe, maybe, no, I don't think he quite made any contact, but certainly nope. big slide. Yeah, just the flaps behind the hood there opening up to let the air out, and there's a can on the racetrack. We, I guess that's what he ran over. Not that that's what caused the spin. He ran on after the fact. And well, there he comes went. Truex to win stage two from Keslowski, Larson, and there might have been contact between Elliott and Logano as they came to the line. Blaney got sixth, Earnhardt seventh, and McMurray, Newman, and Johnson. Watch this. Oh boy, just a tiny bit of contact. Martin Truex trying to hit for the cycle win stage one and two in Las Vegas. And let's enjoy the sights and sounds with a Fox NASCAR crank it up. That's Kurt Busch saying he got into the wall and did some right side damage. He got into it pretty good too, Mike. Up high here under Jamie, or on the outside of McMurray. McMurray comes right up in front of Kurt and just basically no air on the nose if Mark pushed into the wall. A second and a half, uh, Landon Castle uh, brushed the wall here a moment ago. No caution. He works around the outside of Michael McDowell, took a big slide and just Ran out of racetrack there. Behind them away is Kurt Busch now 13 seconds off the lead. Uh, back in 17th place. Remember, he popped the wall a little bit ago here. I've never done before this left day in my life. Yeah, we did. They told the 500. Let's keep focusing. 30 20 on the leaders. That's great for them. Real proud of them. We're doing the best we can, man. Quit it. Focus. But. And it's still a big, oh. oh, there it goes. Danica up in smoke. Going south down to the apron, down to the apron. You're all clear down, all clear down. There that, you go. That's what Chad was waiting for. <laughs> he just couldn't yep. wait that long. He was able to luck out and get that free pass. When she came out of the pits the last time, it was puffing off the right side on shifts, indicating maybe a valve, maybe a ring problem, but now terminal. Look, I love the airflow of the car as you see the smoke trailing behind it. I don't know if I've seen an engine blow up and, and, and bring that much smoke out in a very long time, possibly if ever. That was amazing. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, the axle. Oh, you know axle what? So That's the cap. axle. So the cap has come off of the end of the axle in the hub. 
And that's what has allowed that axle to come out. Don't see that often. Not there very often. Know. Ground he lost, but it was either that or hit Kenseth. He made a good call. Well, it's tightened Truex. it up. It's yeah. tightened yep. it up. Truex Two laps is to go. really closed in here. Something, two's got a problem. Does he have a flat? Something's he wrong with the two. Something is wrong. Truex digging hard on the inside. Gets to the door and no closer. He's there, now he's though. coming. He's gone now. He'll get right by him. I don't know what's going on with the two, but he got a problem. Yeah, I think it's a, a power issue. It's all broke. I don't know why. Car just doesn't look like it has the power down the straightaways. Coming to the white flag, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank, and Truex is back to the lead. Wow. You just don't know, do you? These races have become so unpredictable. What about it? He won the first two stages. Can Whoa. he win the last one? Larson for second, and here come Logano and Kyle Busch for He's third. Three wide going in there to turn three. This is going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly down here, boys. Oh, and pushes around. Martin Truex is money in Las Vegas. He wins. Kyle Busch slides down the pit road, and teammates are side by side at the finish for four. 17, I think he's fine. Is that I, I, think is that that axle, I think the axle may I have come out of the 17. Out Spins in turn four before he gets to the line. That's a lot of drama for one last lap. <laughs> what a wild finish. We ever got a gift, boys. Proud of you all, man. 2015 here. He is the 12th different winner at Las Vegas in 20 races. Not a great homecoming for the Bush brothers. But he never hit anything. Martin Truex taking the checkered flag is today's Sunoco's Euling victory. He's oh, getting my. some practice doing donuts. <laughs> that was a good one. He's going to need some new tars when this is over with. <laughs> Wins every stage, and there's trouble on pit road. Is that Kyle Busch in the yeah, middle there? It's Kyle Busch and Logano. Bush and uh, Joey Logano's crewman involved there. Let's show you what happened out on the track to precipitate this. A little bit of blood on the forehead there, Kyle Bush. Mm, I like the looks of this. First, let's show you what happened on track between the 22 and the 18. Yeah, going down the back straight away. He's coming off two, hit it down the back. It's great, Val. They, they go to the inside of the two. A little bit of contact. The 22 gets to the white line. Oh, he gets loose he gets underneath loose. him. Yeah, he gets into him. I mean, it certainly wasn't intentional. It's just aggressive driving, going for the position. Let's call keep it. I don't know keep it off. But here, the 22, Joey Logano, and then Kyle Busch of the 18. Uh, Kyle Busch decided he's going to cut left to miss Keselowski. Logano was there, and I don't think Joey took too kindly of it. A little loose on the bottom, but I think then it's just a matter of uh, saying, you know, I'm going to bounce off you because I need to get to the start finish line first. And Logano saying he tried to pin me down underneath Keselowski. I wasn't having it. And you saw the aftermath uh, when Kyle Busch seemed more upset about it than Joey Logano. Let's hear from Kyle Busch. He's standing by right now with our Vince Welch. Kyle, what led to your uh, your anger at the end? I got dumped. Flat out just drove straight in the corner and wrecked me. <clears throat> Any conversation between you and Joey, or was it just the fisticuffs? That's how Joey races, so he's going to get it. And then this, after the drivers climbed out of their cars. It's like Kyle goes after Joey when Joey tried well, to talk to him. They pulled Joey away, and that's Kyle with the 22 crew, Vince. With Joey Legato now, and uh, Joey, what happened when Kyle came to the car? What, what transpired there? Uh, there wasn't much talking, just a lot of swinging. Uh, you know, just, um, I don't know, I was racing hard there at the end uh, with our Penzo Ford, and, uh, you know, Kyle and I usually race really well together, we usually never have any issues, and um, uh, he tried to, uh, you know, pin me down into the corner underneath Brad, and we about crashed on entry, and then I was still trying to gather it up by the center, and 
uh, I was going to spin out, so I'm trying to chase it up, and uh, he was there. So, um, yeah, obviously nothing intentional, but uh, obviously he thinks that. So, um, I don't know, we'll move on. Any blows landed between the two of you? None to me. <laughs> yeah, Joey was quickly pulled away from the center of the fight, which was involved Kyle Busch and members of Joey Logano's crew. laps but at the end the two had you what was going through your mind when you saw him falling back right at the end with two to go it's a gift I mean uh, you know it was just we've been on the other side of them plenty of times so this is the first one we've ever uh, kind of had one come our way but can't say enough about everybody on this team uh, Cole and Jazzy and they made a lot of changes last night and uh, I said let's go for it and we did so um, just really proud you know the first first victory for the 2018 Camry out here on the west coast uh, this is a big one for us so Tons of people to thank. Obviously, our team and Barney and Furniture Road, Denver Mattress, my buddy Johnny Morris here for believing in us and coming on his Carl Bass Pro and Tracker Boats and everybody at Toyota TRD. The engines are, they've been unbelievable this season so far. And uh, so many people to thank. We got auto owners coming on back this year and um, just all of our sponsors Textron, Beechcraft, Garmin, everybody who makes this possible. Um, it's a West Coast trip for everybody, but it's home for these guys. So this feels really good. Stage racing is new. You guys made it exciting today. You won both stages and the race. From a driver's point of view, how much more fun are these races now? They're still hard. <laughs> They're still tough, and you're still driving your butt off every single lap. I know I was, and um, you know, I just I felt like it, the race didn't play into our hands. That we had to go really long on that last set of tires, and Brad was really good in the long run all day, and he was always catching us at the end, and we had to stretch it. And I was driving my little butt off. I just I couldn't keep him behind me, and. You know, we just uh, we got a little bit lucky there, but that's why you never give up and you fight till the end. And uh, pit crew was unbelievable today, so I got to thank them and uh, just everybody involved. I mean, it's, it's, it's a dream come true driving these cars for these guys, and uh, hopefully we can keep this momentum going. Martin Truex Jr. wins in Las Vegas for the first time. Matt? Well, Brad Keselowski was able to soldier home to fifth. I don't know how to even describe the disappointment you must feel, but any idea what broke on the race car? No, it was something pretty major because I lost brakes and the car wouldn't turn. So uh, probably caused that wreck at the end. I, I just couldn't get out of the way. It's broke, but that's uh, part of how it goes. I wish it was 265 laps, but it's not. So uh, that's why you got to watch the end, fans at home. Uh, but, uh, you know, you, you win some this way, you lose some this way. And uh, maybe we won one this way last week, and maybe we lost it this way this week. So it all works out in the end. But either way, I'm... Uh, Real proud, everybody, on the uh, Miller 2 crew to have a uh, really fast Ford Fusion, be able to run up front, lead laps, and be in position to win. First and fifth the past yeah, two weeks. The race down, worked his way back up, but in the end, Martin Truex Jr., the winner. You win, you're in. Points do matter. Uh, not only overall points with stages, which obviously Truex helped himself being uh, the driving for the cycle, winning all three stages, but those uh, playoff points as well. And what a big day it was for Toyota. That 2018 Camry came out this year in the NASCAR, and to get that first win for that organization, they flew the flag for Toyota today. Tom